I've lost every follower that I will ever have or subscription. It's I'm losing a ton of them today. <laughs> What's going on, Scary Bear coming at you? Hey, listen, I'm not gonna do this whole video in that getup, but I do wanna tell you, you're all probably like, what's going on? What are you doing, you crazy nut? I got people unsubscribing as we speak. They're like, bleep, who's this freako guy, right? First of all, I'd like to send out my prayers and positive thoughts to anybody who's been affected by this uh, coronavirus or COVID-19 or whatever they're calling it. I know it's serious and it's affecting a lot of people right now. And you are in my thoughts and uh, I'm hoping anything you need to get through this that is made available to you. Here in Indiana, we are under the, the do not travel or stay at home law or mandate by the governor. So we are we are told to stay at home, only travel for essential needs and things like that. But I can tell you what guys, I'm bored as all get out, right? I am following that rule. I got nowhere to be, nothing essential for me. So I am literally sitting at home by myself, uh, just hours, 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 and I can't stand it, it's making me nuts. Guys, it's been forever since I've shot a video, right? It's nasty outside, it's cold outside. My machine, uh, well, we'll make that another video, but the tornado and the fresh breeze are both down right now, so I have nothing to fly anyway, I'm grounded. Even if it was nice, I'm stuck on the ground for right now. So I had to find something to do, and I wanted to shoot a little video. Thought maybe you'd want to do the hanging with scary thing again today. It's just a total stupid video. I'm bored. I want something to do. That's what I'm doing today. I'm going to make pot pot, but let me explain the rules, right? <laughs> That's right. There's rules to this. There's rules to making this pot pie. Two days ago, my wife had made roast carrots, potatoes, rolls. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. She made it in a slow cooker and it was all, it was amazing, right? I, I'm fat. I got fatter that night. What I want to do today is I want to make a pot pie, but I can only make it with what I have here at the house. I can't go to the store. It's not essential. I have food here, right? It's just may not be what I want right now. Normally I kind of make this stuff from scratch, but I was rummaging around. I found the containers where she, she froze the meat and the potatoes and all that stuff the other night. She froze that all in there. And I found some old, I found old, I hope they're not old. I found some pie crust, pre-made pie crust. Usually I would make that stuff kind of from scratch, but we're going to use these because that's what we had in the freezer. I also have some frozen stuff. Um, I'm going to throw in there with it. What the, what the heck, put it in there maybe. I'm going to try to find onion. I don't think I have any onion in the house, but it's not essential. I'm not going to make the run to go get it. But if you want to come along and see how I throw together a beef pot pie from stuff I got laying around the house, come along with me. Um, I'll even share a bite with you if you want when this is over. <laughs> but anyway, guys, it's just for fun. It's for me. I'm bored, and I'm going to shoot a video because I got nothing else to do today. So come along if you want. If you don't, it's good seeing you, and I hope you're all staying safe. And uh, I'll catch you on the next flight video. Maybe that'll maybe that'll pique your interest more than a than a beef a beef pot pie, right? Yeah, I'm not doing that voice through this whole video. I'm not doing it, guys. I'm not dressing up in that. That was my wife's shirt, right? Wife's shirt. Anyway, guys, come along. Let's have some fun. Let's bake this beef pot pie. Beef pot pie. All right, let's get this show started. So there's two things that are essential, two things that are very important. Anytime you're gonna cook with Scary, hanging out with Scary, we gotta get two things done first. So I'm gonna show you what those are starting right now. Wasn't that hard? I, I breezed through it pretty good. Wash my hands, fix myself a drink. Next, let's get to cooking, guys. Let's get to put point going and in the oven. All right, so one of the first things I want to do, guys, these were frozen, so I put them in the microwave, thawed them out a little bit. Now we want to pour them in here, and I'm pretty sure she left the chunks of meat big, but we'll know once we get in here what I got to sift through. But let's just pour this in the pot. 
kind of get this stuff started. Oh my gosh, bloosh, bloosh, spray that stuff all over the place. All right, let's turn this heat up to some simmer. I think the front here, we'll turn that dude on about four. I think, let me get something to, jeez, man. Tearing up the kitchen. Looks like some of that meat, there's still some frozen pieces here. Some chunks, right, that I'm hoping will, once we get this going, it'll boil down. But there's some pretty big pieces of meat in here that I'm gonna wanna fish out of here. I don't like big chunks of meat in my beef pot pie, so I want them kinda shredded, kinda small. And now we want to chop the meat. Chop the meat a little finer. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. We chop up the meat. All right, the meat's a little chopped a little finer than the way my mind like it. We're gonna scoop that sh stuff back in now. Now guys, I love the pepper. I'm a huge black pepper fan. I don't like hot stuff, but I do like black pepper. So we're gonna put a good supply of that in there. Woo, now we're cooking with pepper. And I've been using something here too. It's called uh, no salt. I have my little my little heart condition, my little heart attack. And actually, it's stronger than salt, right? And it's better for you. So that's where we're gonna put a little bit of that in. Just a pinch. We just want a pinch in the salt. Just a pinch in the salt. A pinch in the salt. <laughs> but am I Italian now? All right, guys. In my opinion, I think I think this is just a little too soupy. Right, we need more of a gravy type consistency. I'll throw in a little bit of cornstarch. A little cornstarch up in here. And I'm not gonna measure, man. I'm not much into measuring stuff. I got stuff all over this stove. I'm making a mess all up in here. But that's what it's like cooking with Garrett. Especially when step number two is involved, right? I say alcohol, in case you don't remember. Much thicker. Makes me much happier. Don't want no watery pot pie. I said, I don't want no watery pot pie. All right, guys, I dropped some onion in there, a little, little piece of onion. We're gonna put a little milk in there just to get some creaminess. Just a squirt, just a touch of milk. Bam! That's all I got going to Who's that? Emerald? And he's a bam! Just a pinch of pow! Just a pinch of blam! Well, that's simmering up and you're cooking down some of that cornstarch, getting a little thicker. I'm gonna set the oven to, uh, what at four? Let's do 475. 475. Big. All right, 475 preheat. We'll get the pie pans ready and we'll put the stuff inside of that. I'm gonna grease this pan. I like to use this. It's country crock plant butter. It's a little bit healthier for me. Not a lot, I don't need a lot on there. I just wanna kinda keep the pie crust from sticking. And another thing I wanted to bring up is the glass pan. I like to use the glass pan just because, all right, if you look at it from under here, once you pull that puppy out of the oven, if you're looking at that, you can tell if the bottom of that crust is done or not. And it's tough to do that if you use a metal pie pan or something like that. You really can't see the bottom of that crust. I like a nice golden brown. All right, Scary. Be gentle. Be, uh oh. Oh. Come out of there, little feller. Easy. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, look at that. Not bad. Not bad. A little bit ugly. We'll set that in there anyway. All right, next step, ladies and gentlemen, let's put in some of this filling. Everything diced up, small, I left some of the chunks big, like the carrots and things like that. Doesn't want to come out of there like I want it to. Come out of there. Oh, oh no. Oh no, catastrophe. Catastrophe in the Scary Bear Kitchen. Man, is that an ugly pie, boy? <laughs> oh, it's so ugly. That is one ugly looking pie. But I hope it tastes good, right? So I'm doing the best I can with what I got here at the house. Uh, the oven is just about done preheating, so it's just about time to put this sucker in there. We're gonna put this dude in the oven. All right, we're gonna set that timer for 45 minutes, guys. We're gonna let it cook. While it's cooking, I'm gonna finish my, my half gone drink now. I'm gonna finish my drink, and I'm gonna clean up this mess I got started. And through the magic of video editing, I will see you in approximately 45 minutes. Bam! It is time to open this up and see what kind of masterpiece we got. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I can't tell. It looks like I might have burned it. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh yeah. 
All right, the bottom side is pretty golden. It's golden brown. I'm not complaining about that. It might be a little bit, a little bit dark on the top here, but that's not terrible, guys. Let's let that set for just a few minutes and cool down. Then we'll cut it, we'll serve it up, and we'll see just if it's any good or not. I'm hoping, keep your fingers crossed, guys. All right, guys, let's cut into this thing and see what we got. Oh, man, look at that. Ugh, wasn't very skilled putting on the plate. Let's get some of these juicy fillings out of here. Man, that looks amazing. All right, guys, moment of truth, right? Got my drink filled back up, ready to go there. First bite of the Scary Berry board day. Nothing else to do, what's going on? Come along, hang out. Here we go. It's still hot, probably gonna burn my face. I'm about to burn my face. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. I wish you were here, you could taste some of this. Okay, truth be told guys, the pot pie looks a little done, but it's really not. It's got a nice flaky texture. Amazing flavor in that thing. Maybe just a touch more salt or maybe a little more onion would have been good. Oh my gosh, I think it turned out great. It, it's ugly. It's ugly, kind of like me, right? Scary berry face. You can't have a name like scary and make pretty things. You can't do it. Anyway, guys, listen, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. I was just bored. I was trying to have a little fun and I thought you guys might want to come along with me. You you guys always make my day better when I get to, when I get to share it with you and spend time with you. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, give me a subscribe. I promise you there won't be any more pork pie videos. This is the only pot pie videos I am gonna do in my future plans. I am gonna make a video here pretty soon about uh, the tornado. I am having some troubles with the tornado. We're doing some pretty major repairs on that, guys. So I'll be looking for that video coming out next. But in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy this pot pie, and I hope you enjoyed the video at least a little bit. I hope it made you laugh. Scare Barry out. Have a good one, guys. Love you.